Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to Chef Vic Cuisine. Today, we're making a tuna melt. Now this is super easy to make, and this tuna melt is gonna be your go-to for an amazing lunch. And the tuna mixture is the real star in this dish. So, let's get started. All right, so hopping right into this, we're gonna prepare the vegetables we need to make the tuna mix. Starting off with a quarter of a large red onion. We wanna chop this up along the width of the onion to create those long, thin slices, and then double back and chop those up even smaller to create bite-sized pieces of the onion. You want that flavor to spread all throughout the tuna mix, so the smaller you can get those onion slices, the better. Next up, we'll need about one stalk of celery, and you wanna chop that along the length of the celery, and then once again, double back, and finally chop the celery into small bite-sized pieces. And finally, you're gonna need about two tablespoons worth of freshly chopped parsley, so take a large chef knife and chop that up into fine, small pieces. And now with all those vegetables chopped, you wanna transfer them into a medium-sized bowl, followed with a quarter cup of mayonnaise, one tablespoon of stone ground mustard, the star of the dish, 16 ounces worth of canned solid albacore tuna that you've rinsed and drained, and finally, a thin sprinkling of salt and freshly ground black pepper. Whisk all these ingredients together until they're well combined using a fork to ensure that the tuna has broken apart. And once its consistency looks like this, your tuna mixture is complete. So if you want this recipe to taste really good, once you're finished stirring those ingredients, make sure you also stir in a like button too. Seriously, it helps with boosting this video's performance in YouTube's algorithm so that more people can see this recipe. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you click that subscribe button too and also tap that bell icon to be notified when my next video drops. And stay tuned until the end of this video for a sneak peek of the recipe coming next week. So this amount of tuna mix can create four sandwiches, and so we're gonna need eight slices of brioche bread. We're also gonna need two medium-sized tomatoes that have been thinly sliced. So starting off with our first sandwich, you wanna lightly toast each slice of bread, and following that, you wanna spread about half a tablespoon's worth of unsalted butter on each toasted slice. Now onto one of those slices, you wanna place two slices of mild cheddar cheese on top. Follow that up by adding a quarter portion of your tuna mix on top of the slices of cheese. Continuing with the layering process, you wanna add two tomato slices on top of the tuna mix, and finally, add another two slices of mild cheddar cheese on top of the tomatoes. Don't close the sandwich with that other slice of bread just yet. We're gonna transfer those all to a parchment paper lined baking sheet. And you just wanna repeat the process that I just mentioned with the remaining amount of tuna mix, tomato slices, cheese, and slices of bread. So now you wanna preheat your broiler to 500 degrees Fahrenheit or 260 degrees Celsius. And you wanna broil these on the second tray of your oven or at least six inches away from the broiler. And this doesn't take long to broil at all. You're aiming for about max two minutes or until the cheese has just melted. Now you wanna remove this all from the oven and you should have four toast slices of bread with the layers of melted cheese, tuna and tomato stacked and four buttered slices of toasted bread. You want to close the sandwiches with the toasted slices. At this point, your tuna melt has been formed, but what I like to do is slice them in half. And let me know down in the comments what your favorite way of slicing a sandwich is, horizontally or diagonally. And now your tuna melt is ready to be served hot and enjoyed. And just like that, you've made a tuna melt right at home. This is one of my favorite go-to lunch options when I'm trying to feed not only myself, but my family as well. You can always make the tuna mix ahead of time to speed up the cooking process even more. One more tip I'd like to give you all in regards to this recipe is that you wanna make sure to really mash the tuna. There shouldn't be any large chunks remaining. 
And you can also always feel free to use your favorite type of cheese as well. And if you're looking for an additional crunch in your sandwich, you can try adding some lettuce to the sandwich after the broiling process. But when you do try this recipe at home, be sure to tag me at Chef Vic Cuisine or hashtag Chef Vic Cuisine so I can see your takes on this recipe. As always, this recipe and many more can be found in my cookbook, Chef Vic Cuisine Volume 3, Upgrading Your Inner Chef. And that's available on Amazon, and I'll be sure to leave a link to that in my description box. And feel free to click the pop-up on your screen for more information on that as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. And if you did, make sure to smash that like button for me. It's one of the best ways to show support for this channel. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Victor and welcome to Chef Vic Cuisine. I like to create new recipes each and every week that you can make at home for yourself, your family, or your friends. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button too. And sharing is caring. So if you think someone else will like this recipe just as much as you did, feel free to share this with all your family and friends. And stay tuned for next week, where I try to make a childhood favorite of mine, Hush Puppies. I think you're all going to fall in love with this amazing side dish. Well, thank you all so much again for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Your support means the world to me. Check out my recipes on my page now. YouTube thinks you'll like this video, so let's see if they're right. And I'll see you next time on another episode of Chef Vic Cuisine. And until then, peace.